Hi guys, it's your girl Yemi.com. Thank you for joining me, my internet friends, once again. I'm gonna do something, as Trixie would say, controversial yet brave. Please say something controversial yet brave, which we've really come to do on this channel. And I am going to start handing invitations to the cookout out. Now, you gotta be sparing when you're black. You never give out your N-word card. So yeah, I was just wondering if like someday like I can maybe say the N-word. In, oh, how about that N-word? No, that's a good N-word. No, you can't say the N-word. Are you pouting? No. Is it because I'm white? Yes, exactly. That is racist. You know what else is racist? Enslaving an entire race for like 400 years. And you almost never give out a card to the cookout because there are people who will press their ear to the keyhole of the function, as some would say. This has never been a conversation. It's been a shitty game of telephone. It's been your ear pressed to the keyhole at the front door of the function. It's been you cutting my mic and singing a song I wrote. It's and not that we don't trust white people. It's that y'all really think my black looks better on you. <coughs> Kardashians. Kylie Jenner has been slipping into the back of your BSU meetings. Been importing your cookout playlist while you were in the shower. Been checking your YouTube history when you go to sleep. Kylie, Kylie Jenner, Jenner is turning into a black woman right before our eyes. She's However, there are also some really great and talented artists who I feel like have the right mindset and appreciation for black culture that could in fact get an invite to the cookout. Motherland drip on me, motherland, motherland drip on me. <laughs> Being black, maybe that's the reason why they always may, yeah, they always may. Again, this is controversial and this is just my opinion based off of how I'm feeling right now. If they do something wild in the future, I have the advantage of taking that invitation right back and throwing it out. But I, of course, you know, love K-pop as well. And they have not always been the biggest advocate for the black community. No offense, offense intended. Stop wearing dreads and sparkly do-rags. And I am also a fan of uh, other people who are of the white variety. Again, not always the biggest advocates of the black community. Now, what month is it? February. Wrong. So what is it? What's black History Month. Oh, okay. You, did you even know that? I did. Okay. You can't ask a black guy if he knows that. You can't ask your black friend that if he knew that. He did. Oh my God, shut it down. But some of them try and some of them succeed. And so I'm going to take my favorite white artist and my favorite K-pop artist, and I'm going to let you know which ones of them I feel comfortable inviting to my cookout. Not everybody's cookout, cause not everybody's potato salad tastes the same, baby. Okay, baby girl. You have to know who gets on the list and who doesn't, because some people will abuse that list, abuse to the highest extent. But, for that to happen, I'm going to need my handy dandy notebook. Ooh, okay. Let's see who gets an invite to the cookout, shall we? Let's start off with some of our artists of the non-melanin variety. Can I say that? Is that offensive? Now, we'll do, we'll go back and forth. We'll start with our non-melanin, we'll end off with our melanated. And first off, I'm gonna say the internet's boyfriend and every black girl's dream cream dream right now, Jack Harlow gets an invite to the cookout. Again, controversial, yeah, brave. Jack Harlow, if you don't know him, but you've been living under a rock or don't own a TikTok, he is a rapper. He was uh, Oklahoma based, I believe, or somewhere in the South, which already makes this a little bit suspicious, but he has proven himself a little bit to be a pioneer, not a pioneer, but an advocate for the rap community. He actually puts out good rap that's not mumble rap. Um, a lot of his songs are like, you know, really groovy. I brought a gang to the party with me. Five white boys, but they not in sync. Hey, 
Forget what y'all think. Forget everything that you say about me. My dogs like to play mad than a 2K. But one thing they don't do is play about me. My homeboy Tyler, he playing South Beach. He told me this summer, he fixed my jumper. I told Boy Wonder, we might got a thumper. Been trying to pop, now I'm on like Shumper. And Jazzy, and he doesn't feel like he's cosplaying as a black person. He to get the point of rap across. So clean, they can't wait to pass me. I must be getting too flashy. Y'all shouldn't let the world gas me. It's too late, cause I'm here to stay, and these girls know that I'm nasty. I sent her back to her boyfriend with my handprint on her. Which is really, really important because a lot of people feel like in order to be into rap and RB, you must cosplay and put on the caricature of being from the hood and black or anything that associates with the negative connotations and stereotypes of being black. And that's not always true. Some of the best rappers are often, you know, just chill chill as fuck you know just chill as fuck rapping about their lives you know all the other things you don't necessarily need to be a black man to rap okay you can be a woman meant the stallion you can be a, a a white person jack harlow you can be a white woman not a Azalea though you can't be a Azalea. we don't let her back in he has a couple of really famous songs that blew up on tiktok including best friends featuring uh he's a feature on best friends but um, it's a it's sad because you know I really like that song. But Chris Brown is also not invited to the cookout, even though he is black and he is on the song as well. So it's kind of a double edged sword. But it is made for some great TikTok content. Brought a buddy in. What you studying? Education. That's where the money is. You think you're funny, huh? Yeah, I'm the funniest. So what about you? A friend reply. I don't go to school. Okay, what you do? I'm a dancer. Quick question, are you a cancer? I said, hell nah, where you dance at? She said, blue flame, that should be jam packed. I said, damn facts, so where y'all mans at? She said, what's that? Smiled at each other and they both laughed. I don't need a man, she's my other half. As well as his latest song, First Class, in that album, he is just the heartthrob. White women love him. You're fucking lying. Hey, baby daddy. <laughs> Hi, sir. How are you? Did you wake him up from a nap? Look, he's like shirtless. I think I did wake him up. Look at him. Baby daddy, go back to sleep. I'll call you later. <laughs> what about it? Well, <laughs> you are stupid. I'm stupid. Yeah, like in a good way. Okay. Yeah. Can't wait. Love you. Bye. Love ya. Black women love him. Jack Harlow. Oh! Jack Harlow, if you see this TikTok, just know I'm your future wife. I'm everything that you need, like. What do you think Jack Harlow needs? He needs some Brianna, that's what he needs. Why? He's just sexy to me, like, wait, I have a boyfriend. Ooh. Hey girl, what's up? Hi, sweetie. Hi. Jack. I know. Good to see you. I just wanna interrupt, I just wanna say hi, we never met. How you doing? Like it's weird. You don't like getting caught off guard? Why are you shaking? Emma? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Nobody's shit, shaking. Sweet, sweet semen. I know what they like, so I just keep cheesing. Hard drive full of I feel like it's honestly a bit of a phenomenon how much he has black women in a chokehold. This white man from the Caucasus Mountains is literally taking the black female community by storm. But that's not enough, and it's not a situation to a systemic issue that people who don't look like me have to face. The next step is identifying this police officer and getting him unemployed as fast as we can. Assaulting a young woman and putting his hands on her neck is sickening. I look out in the crowd every night and see black women in my front row screaming my lyrics, traveling to see me, supporting me, riding for me. I want this woman and every black woman that supports me to know I am sorry. I want you to be protected and I want this guy to lose his job so fucking fast. I love you. Let's find this officer. Honestly, I feel like I could just sum this video up into that one instagram post and be like yeah that's why black girls like him i know there's gonna be people in my comments and i'm sure there are people in my comments in that other video talking about jack harlow but just know when i'm talking about white boys i'm not talking about this white boy okay because that's my baby daddy anyway he just genuinely respects black people and that shouldn't seem like some like grand feat or anything and it's not but Y'all know what world we live in, and this shit, honestly, is not as common as it should be. White men love him. I don't know how black men feel about him. I don't really ask. Goat vaccination spot. What? Uh. 
the, <laughs> they're trying to get political. Yeah. Look at this shit. What is going on? Why even? That says vacation, dumbass. Vac go vacation spot. My fault. It's too late because I'm here to stay and these girls know that I'm nasty. I sent her back to a boy friend with mine. But he is undeniably the internet's boyfriend right now and killing it and I We'll give him an invitation to my cookout. He said something rude to you or hurt your feelings. Just tell him they hurt your feelings. Like, tell him. And I took it serious. I rode the bus the next day and somebody said something mean to me, some older kid. And I was like, that hurt my feelings. And they're like, we don't give a fuck. Shut the fuck up, pussy. <laughs> I never said that shit again. Next, we're going to go into K-pop. For this one, it's going to be a duo for me. I've talked about my love of this group so much. They are amazing and they're just super unproblematic and they don't even make like hip hop or rap necessarily. Yes, they're raps in their songs, but they don't really like, you know, they just make whatever they feel. And that is Akmu. I'm inviting Akmu to the cookout, specifically Suyeon, but um, her brother can come too. I wanted to add them to the list because there are not a lot of um, K-pop artists that have no controversies when it comes to black culture. Um, that's sad, but there aren't a lot, but they are one of the few that do. And on top of that, they have a understanding of R&B without having to feel like they need to only do or, or, or capitalize off of R&B as so for music. They have stunning talents. They're great musicians, uh, Akdong musicians. They're great musicians, beautiful voice, and both of their voices separately um, would be wonderful on an R&B or hip hop track. Um, uh, Suyeon's voice is just so strong and powerful, and she has the flexibility to be on a song with like Jasmine Sullivan, for instance. You know, she has that flexibility and that roundhouseness to her voice that could do that. Yes, we were looking for this love from someone else. A rush, a glance, a touch, a dance, a look in somebody's eyes. Tonight is the night for I feeling alright. We'll be making love the whole night through. So I'm saving all my love. Yes, I'm saving all my love. Yes, I'm saving. her brother has the rap skills his lyrics are really impressive and lyricism is great <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
that's not to say you have to be a lyricist to be invited to the cookout but it does for sure help if you can carry your own and bring a beat okay i want to say that they're the ones i trust least on the list because I don't have a lot of background, but they are an interesting duo that I would like to see how they would interact with black people. It would be fun for me, like a little social experiment. Next white person is Ilya. I'm, I don't know if I ever say her name correctly. I think she's a sweetheart. I've, from what I've seen in interviews, she's never been super problematic. I wasn't trained. Um, I actually come from a really musical family. Mm -hmm. um, and my dad was a choir director in church and really like kind of molded me to listen to certain artists and singers and he really wanted me to have that background since I was like two years old. Okay, mm. who were some of those artists? Ooh, Nina Simone, India yes. Ari, yeah, Aretha Franklin. I think he really wanted me to, to listen to artists who not only like spoke spoke truth uh -huh. lyrically and stuff like that but also just had strong powerful voices uh -huh. you know uh -huh. not so i'm grateful for that not she's never been super wild but she does again have pipes of steel on her she sings r&b which is really close to my heart move it to the left move it to the left oh no one no better no one no better so i do i feel like you're popping you pull my strings while you play Y'all been eating long enough. It's my turn to cut the food. Pass the plate. This my drink. This my day. Lucky you. What you think? Y'all gotta move. Y'all gotta move. Y'all gotta move. Give me some room. Give me some room. Give me the juice. How about the cool? How about the cool? How about and shoot? Y'all gotta move. You gon' miss me when I'm gone. And I've been waiting for two. Necklace on your account. Drop my soul inside of your heart. Um, she has a remix that is so popular and has Method Man, who, hello, black icon, on it. And it's like a remix of his song Casuals Everything About Me Around Me. Um, and her remix is very beautiful. I'll click it here, listen to here. Oh, you just do it for the night. You just do it for the night. That you want that wifey material, but you psycho, yeah, you serial, done on whites. Never mind. You don't get it, do you? You don't get it, do you? You say cash rules everything around you. What about love? You say cash rules everything around you. What about us? And while she does, again, make beautiful RB music, it never feels like she's going out of her way to sound black or put on a black scent when she's singing, which is super important to me because it shows that you know where you're from without having to be a culture vulture in some regard. You know what I mean? You like you know you have your 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 stable music inclined self, but you don't need to feel like you're putting on a costume to perform. And I really love and appreciate that. And that's why I wanted to put her on this list as well. I ain't even trippin' on that shit I don't get mad, I get pretty Can't hit me, I'm too busy Get into the bag like TSA I'ma do me all day Cause her voice is stunning, she seems like a very sweet girl Um, who could probably take your money in dominoes And, you know, she got a cosign from Method Man So, like, who's who am I to stop her from walking into the cookout? She can't break food I don't say she can break food She can't bring her voice, though Honestly, I think it's, um it's it's an adjustment isn't it yeah i i can't believe that i mean of course it's what i hoped for but i can't believe how many people connect to the music huh. next up um the next person we have k-pop we're going back to k-pop and we are going to jamie she just scares me it's jamie park J Y P. J Y P. <laughs> Jamie is uh, formerly known as Jimin. I think Jimin is her name, but she went back to Jamie, her American name. She is a, again, phenomenal vocalist. Oh, 
a lot more driven and, and rooted in R&B than I would say Akmu is, but um, she's just uh, also it has a mad respect for every artist that she works with. She she comes off as a very genuine person. Jamie, huh? who would you like to be on a team with? Eric. Don't care. All right, we're gonna move <laughs> on. <laughs> I think you bruised my soul. Mm, bruise your titty. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh no, I'm so, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Ugly ass bitches. All right, that was my story for the week. Um, if you guys are interested, <laughs> check out my Instagram photo, <laughs> which is super hot. I made you guys laugh. Thank you for that. Okay. Bitch, you're pleasant. Yeah. <laughs> and her lyricist styles and the way that she inflects her voice, she is truly like pop, I would say pop R&B, like that like contemporary pop kind of sound. She's not like that bubblegum shit. You can tell from her voice that she has studied gospel singing to some extent, that she has, you know, taken her singing craft seriously in the realm of uh, pop R&B, and I really appreciate that. Again, no black scent, none of that extra stuff. She just is who she is, and she, I really appreciate and love and connect with that for her. I love that sound that comes out of her mouth. It's amazing. It's just amazing. Um, our last white person, because we're only doing three for three. I'm sorry, I could not find more people that I trusted to bring to the cookout. But our last white person is, of course, Miss Jojo. This is the whole reason I wanted to make the list. Um, I was... I'm in love with JoJo. I love her. Hey, it's JoJo. I hate myself. Why am I so weird? <laughs> what am I doing? I just try to switch it up and make it interesting. It's, it's just so weird. <laughs> She's been that bitch since Get Out when she first premiered. The first time I saw the music, the first time I saw the music video was on Teen Nick, where they used to play the music videos or the N, but I don't know it was the N, not Teen Nick, the N. She's just amazing. She is soulful. She's strong. She's never not been herself. She does not give a shit about what you think or who you think she should be. That really kept me afloat. Just to speak on the industry in general. Yeah. We're we're products. We're. Mm. Um, it's a data-driven industry right yeah, now. Yeah, especially and it, now. And it really does take kind of some of the, it can if you let it, take some yeah. of the creativity, the fun out of it. Mm. Oh, f that. <laughs> we about to have fun in 2020. <laughs> nah, it was in my purse, yo. I'm that bitch now. I'm just like prepared. I was out here living my damn life. In these streets? In these streets, in these LA streets, acting like a little hussy. Oh! <laughs> acting like, like, like someone who is college age. I wasn't acting yeah. like a hussy, but I was like the makeout bandit. Okay? <laughs> so I'm just so lucky that yeah, nobody that that nobody that. saw me making out with like really random boys. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> because I well, was, I don't know if that's that's like anybody. Ask any kid. I know, but I was drunk. Oh. Toes got to eat too? What? This red lobster full of holes. You don't believe it? I'm gonna tell you, let, let right there. Bro, boy, don't you start no coochie. I'm not right. Full of holes. Full of holes. What? Whole damn place. She going him on my she going him on my she going him on my dick tonight. She not with him tonight. She not with Jim tonight. She in the gym tonight. Work out in that pussy. Stay. Mmm. 
Okay. <laughs> um, won't you stay with me? Let me redo it again. That sounded crazy. Here we go. Wait a minute. God damn. Hold on. Won't you stay with me? Cause you're all I need. This ain't love, it's clear to see. So won't you stay with me? She is also a phenomenal lyricist and the only person on this list that I believe can properly cover a Jasmine Sullivan song, which is very hard to do because I regard Jasmine Sullivan as one of the best vocalists of our generation. Uh, Beyonce is not technically my generation, so you know that's why how I can let it slide a little bit. But still, best artist, best vocalist of our generation. So seeing JoJo perform uh, her, her I Assume mixed with Pick Up Your Feelings really made me click on this list. A lot of people do not give JoJo her flowers. Genres of music are not owned by a race or a certain type of person, but however, comma, I ain't seen too many white women besides my bitch JoJo, but once again, I don't know. JoJo comes off. We don't. We don't bring JoJo up when we talk about race. At least some. At least I don't. JoJo is just a talented singer, and I don't care what genre she. She can sing pop, R and B, and I. I would stand. JoJo is fucking phenomenal. However, comma she's a white woman singing R and B music. And some people do not, they, and, and the thing is, I see people on Twitter bashing JoJo's new album, Go Stream It, and people are saying like, oh, well, y'all love that bitch JoJo, I don't see what's so popping, the bitch is talented, down, are you kidding me? The bitch can sing, uh, but it shouldn't have nothing to do with her skin color because JoJo represents as a white woman. I thought of this white girl and she was getting down with the black pokes, but like wasn't trying to appropriate it. She stayed in the white woman lane, but just know how to sing R&B music. But that's why she isn't popping off like she should be. Jojo deserves, that's, that's, that's a whole nother video, but my bitch Jojo deserves, okay?
will sleep on JoJo constantly and I don't know why. I really don't know why because she is one of the most hardworking and determined women in the business and she constantly moves forward with her music, with her methods, with her just her spirit and again what? No. Black scent and we love that for us. Life was so unkind. You're the key to my peace of mind. You make me feel. And then our last person. Our last person is a K-pop person, but they do hail from ATL, um, which is the gayest city in America for sure, but uh, probably the blackest, one of the blackest too, depending on the area you could go. Uh, but they originated the lemon pepper wing, and we are talking about Eric Nam. Um, Eric Nam is another person that made me really want to make this list. I'm Eric Nam. Like JoJo and Eric Nam, I would say, are the two top ones that I would bring to the cookout. Those are who I would like drag along for the ride, and those are who I would trust to cook at the cookout if they can cook. I would trust them to bring something to the cookout um, and not fuck it up, you know, those two. Excuse me, excuse me, daddy, sorry, daddy, sorry, daddy, sorry, daddy, sorry, daddy, sorry. I keep seeing things on my socials where it's just, people just keep calling me daddy. And this is Atlanta, I'm not worried at all. Like, are you throwing dollars at me? Money at me. I it, but I, I will not accept for fear of what I may have to do. Uh, Eric Nam is so good with lyricism, so good with pop. Again, he he rides that wave of like pop R and B with his voice. talented and boy oh boy a hoe saw him in concert and lost her panties i saw him perform a paradise live when he did that little dance i'm gonna put the clip in here Bruh, when I see Eric Nam dance, I'm like, I want to see him dance at a cookout. And I want to see all the aunties be like, oh, look at Elijah boy. Look at him moving his hips. Look at Elijah boy moving his hips. Ah, and just get all like freaky. Um, I think it'd be so funny. And I think that he would have a genuinely good time. He's from the South. He's from Atlanta. So he, I feel like he has to know how to get down and play some games. I mean, you know, he, you know, he at least knows the Cupid Shuffle. At the very, at the very minimum, you know, he at least knows the Cupid Shuffle. And that's all we really need. I mean, not really, but that's, that's like where the starting point is. You know what I mean? So I would gladly have him at my cookout. Again, voice phenomenal. Please don't let this love die young Please don't let this love die young If I'm gonna lose someone Don't let it be you He sings like a dream, he sings at R&B and he really focuses on his pocket of what flexes with his voice but also he focuses on what the roots of R&B and pop are and I really appreciate that um, and then his dance moves I want to see him dance at a black cookout I think that would just be fun for me personally um, but uh, yeah um, but with that being said that's kind of my three on three list of who I would invite to the cookout white people or k-pop artists that I would invite to the cookout
about to say Halsey, but Halsey's technically, technically black, but we won't go there. Um, oh, yes. Oh, yes. People forget that Halsey has a black father. She's a black woman. Technically, technically. She passes as white, but, you know, that's another conversation about, you know, racial and, and identifications and girl, it's a whole nother key. But I look at my bitch Halsey as, as she's just she, like Mariah Carey. You know what I mean? Like, bitch, you got that. You got it. I got you, bitch. I'm here for you, Halsey. She explain what the cookout is. The cookout is the proverbial black party that white people are not invited to. At any point, at any given moment, I will take these invitations away. But I just, it's one of my fears that I'm gonna have like an ancestor, like, all we've done for you. People died, Kendall. <laughs> Sorry, anyway. So I'll fuck it up. <laughs> I'm yummy.com. Don't worry, I'll be back. So stay tuned, my friends.